Thank you very much, Dr. Liu. Uh, I'm Shinya Matsura from Hiroshima University in Japan. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the uh, organizing committee for inviting me to Korea and giving me this opportunity to present our work. Uh, Dr. Bohula gave an important presentation on uh, radiation sensitivity, uh, including ethical issues. Uh, my talk is just uh, technology work. And this is my first uh, presentation in the field of radiological protection. Uh, I will talk about analysis of individual differences in radio sensitivity using genome editing. Uh, following the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant disaster on March 11, 2011, uh, caused by the Great East Japan earthquake, uh, social anxiety about the effect of radiation on the human body has increased. A current standard for radiological protection of the public has been uniformly established. However, individual differences in radio sensitivities are suggested to exist in human populations, which could be caused by nucleated variants of the repair gene. So, I want to show that genome editing is a useful tool to investigate individual cellular radio sensitivity. Uh, ionizing radiation induced DNA double strand break. DNA double strand break uh, was repaired by DNA repair system. When the cell enter a mitotic phase in the absence of DNA repair, Micronuclei are formed from unrepaired DNA fragment. A CVMN cytokinesis block micronuclei assays uh, is used to measure uh, radio sensitivity using this uh, mechanism. Previously, Dr. Scott reported an important uh, result. They analyzed uh, micronuclei formation in 42 normal individuals and 39 breast cancer patients. It was found that uh, uh, individual differences in radio sensitivity exist in normal individuals. Uh, interestingly, many cases with moderate sensitivities were found in breast cancer patients. To verify Dr. Scott result, uh, we studied uh, cells from six healthy volunteers. Peripheral blood was obtained from six healthy volunteers. And lymph side were gamma irradiated and then uh, stimulated with PHA for two days. Cytokalacin B was added to block cytokinesis. As they fall, the cell was, cells were collected and uh, counted uh, as dropped onto the slide. Uh, Micronucleated cells were counted using metaphase system with rechecking them by human eyes. Among six individuals, two, two shows difference in radiation sensitivity. We repeated experiment three times. Uh, there was a small but a statistical difference at two gray irradiation. Plantia one was a 53 years old man and Plantia two was a 60, 46 year old woman. It was reported that uh, heterozygous carrier of familial hypersensitive disorder were radi mildly uh, radiation sensitive. Uh, to confirm this result, we examined skin fibroblast from Ataxia telangiectasia family members. The affected patient was a compound heterozygote for the ATM mutation, 1141 insertion 4 and 8266 A2D single base substitution. Insertion 4 was derived from his father and 
single best pair substitution was from his mother. He had three siblings. Uh, this sister was uh, also a carrier. So uh, 80 patients showed extremely highly sensitive to uh, irradiation as compared to the other family members. Then uh, vertical scale was enlarged. This is the same graph whose vertical uh, axis was enlarged. As reported previously, uh, three heterozygous carriers showed higher frequency of micronucleus formation than that of normal individuals. We also examined EB transformed lymphocyte from Nijmegen breakage syndrome, NBS. We used uh, three NBS families, all of which contained uh, and carried a founder mutation of NBS1657 deletion 5. Uh, Micronucleus assay showed NBS patient were highly sensitive to irradiation. And heterozygous carriers showed intermediate response of micronucleus formation between NBS patient and normal individuals. So these results suggested an apparent relationship between heterozygous mutation of familiar hyperradiosensitive diseases and mild radiosensitivity. The epidemiological data suggested that not only heterozygous carrier, but also uh, SNPs in DNA pair gene are associated with cancer risk. Uh, SNPs of gene XRCC1, like S4, ATM, uh, ML11, NVS1, associated with several type of cancer risk. So, we wanted to confirm that these SNPs are indeed involved in individual radio sensitivity. We try to examine uh, radio sensitivity of cells from individual carrying candidate SNPs. However, uh, evaluation of such variant proved difficult, probably because of smaller size effect. Moreover, uh, micronucleus formation uh, is affected by confounding factor, such as smoking, or is influenced by uh, diverse genetic background in human populations. It is therefore necessary to establish evaluation system uh, for the intercomparison of radio sensitivity using model cells with their uniform genetic background. So we plan to introduce a uh, candidate SNP into cultured human cell using genome editing and evaluate for their radio sensitivity. Targeted gene modification in cultured human cell has been used to uh, examine uh, gene function. However, uh, the technique proved difficult because of extremely low homologous and uh, low frequency of homologous recombination of human cells. Recently, artificial nucleases has been developed, including uh, think finger nuclease, transcription activator like effector nucleus, TALEN, and uh, clusters regulatory interspace short palindromic repeat Cas9 based RNA guided DNA endonucleases, uh, CRISPR Cas9 system. The development of artificial nucleases enabled uh, efficient homologous recombination mediated genome editing in human cell. Especially, this CRISPR Cas9 plasmid can be uh, easily constructed. Uh, so uh, this type of nucleus uh, become very popular now.
we use genome editing uh, to uh, identify uh, mutation of genetic disorder. Although this syndrome is not a hyper-radiosensitive disorder, I would like to introduce our work. We entered one year old boy with a severe disease, a PCS syndrome, premature chromatid separation syndrome. PCS syndrome is an autosomal recessive a chromosome instability syndrome, and is caused by loss of function mutation in a gene encoding BABAR1, a spindle assembly checkpoint protein. The affected patient developed Williams tumor and was suffered from seizure, and he cannot speak any words. His parents appear to be heterozygous carrier were expecting to have a third healthy child. They wanted prenatal DNA diagnosis. However, it was difficult because no coding mutation in BABAR1 was found, suggesting that causal mutation is a non-coding one uh, outside the gene. After extensive genetic analysis, we, found, uh, we identified a single base substitution, G2A, in an intergenic region, uh, 44 kilobases upstream of BABAR1 as potentially causative. However, this substitution was not strictly conserved uh, among vertebrates and no potential uh, regulatory element was uh, predicted. So it was unknown whether this is a causal mutation or merely correlated with the syndrome. To answer this question, we use genome editing. We plan to generate such mo uh, module cell carrying the SNP and analyze their cellular phenotype. For this purpose, we designed two-step single base pair editing strategy. The first step included integration of selection cassette and targeting vector uh, contain uh, G2A, uh, uh, resistance genes and chimichin uh, kinase gene. Uh, targeted cell clone were positively selected uh, with neomycin. The second step included removal of, of selection cassette and the introduction of the substitution. Uh, targeting vector contain uh, G2A uh, substitution. Genome edited cell clone were uh, negatively selected using ganciclovir. Using this strategy, we have successfully generated uh, genome edited cell. Uh, these cells were then compared with each other. The, geno uh, the genome edited cell uh, showed chromosome instability in the form of PCS, which is the hallmark of uh, the syndrome. This result clearly demonstrates that the nucleated substitution identified was the causal mutation of the syndrome. And this result was useful for the affected family. The parents performed amniocentesis during the third pregnancy. It was found to be heterozygous. A healthy baby was born. We then use the single base pair editing as a tool to study individual radio sensitivity. We choose NBS1 uh, I171V polymorphism as our first target. It was reported that this polymorphism was associated with an increased breast cancer. Uh, 
PSQ. And also uh, reported that this SNP may be susceptibility factor in cancer. However, uh, it is known uh, whether, uh, so we use genome editing uh, to verify that this SNP is indeed involved in cellular radio sensitivity. This time, uh, we designed one-step genome editing strategy. The two-step strategy we developed was able to induce single nucleotide substitution anywhere within the genome without any footprint beside targeted site. However, two-step strategy was labor intensive. So we used CRISPR-Cas9 as a uh, artificial nucleus and single strand oligo D, uh, nucleotide as a targeting uh, donor. This is the oligonucleotide sequence of the targeting donor. Uh, the vector contains T2C substitution. In addition to this, a restriction site was introduced into the targeting vector in order to screen homologous recombinant clone easily. After transfection, 96 clones were picked up and analyzed for the restriction enzyme uh, digestion. Uh, three clones were uh, positive for SCA1 digestion. Uh, sequence analysis revealed that these clones carried single base substitution in addition to the SCA1 site. We studied radiation-induced cell killing in this genome-edited cell clone. Uh, NBS patient cell was used as control. NBS1 uh, genome-edited cell did not show uh, increased cell killing after irradiation. Light graph shows the uh, micronucleus as a result. NBS1 I171V uh, genome edited to cell showed higher frequency of micronucleus formation than that of wild type cell. These results demonstrate that uh, this polymorphism is involved in cellular radio sensitivity. Our results supported a uh, previous notion that individual differences in radio sensitivity exist in human population. We designed talent mediated two step single base pair editing which we use to introduce a nucleotide variant associated with a chromosomal instability syndrome into human culture cell to demonstrate that it is a causal mutation. We designed CRISPR-Cas9 based one step genome editing and use this to the evaluation of NBS1 polymorphism for cellular radio sensitivity. Genome editing is now widely used and I think it become a valuable tool to investigate individual radio sensitivities. I would like to thank uh, collaborators and contributors. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>